Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I want to, to begin my remarks by uh, picking up on a few of the things said by the honourable gentleman for Glasgow East in opening this debate. First of all, he criticised the Chancellor for not being here. Uh, I have to say, and I apologise for any harm this does to my right honourable friend's career, I am delighted that the Chief Secretary for the Treasury is <laughs> replying for the Government uh, in these opening speeches. But it did irk with me slightly that the honourable gentleman for the SNP thought this was something he should highlight, that the Chancellor was not here. Because I remember being in Holyrood in the Scottish Parliament just a few weeks ago. when. <laughs> Secondly, the Honourable Gentleman for Glasgow East spoke about Groundhog Day. We are in Groundhog Day in Scotland because, once again, in the run-up to another conference, another party conference, and the run-up to elections, we have got Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP yet again, yet again, speaking about Scottish independence. On the TV yesterday, saying she is putting civil servants to work to get ready to fight the case for another independence referendum. And the final point I just wanted to pick up on the Honourable Gentleman's speech was he spoke about uh, the economy and currency. So I want to ask, because we've got very full benches here from, from the SNP, once, once more, can I ask the SNP, they all support independence, they want to separate Scotland from the rest of the United Kingdom. So which one over there of the full SNP benches can tell me what currency an independent Scotland will have? Yes, I'll give way to the Honourable Gentleman. He put up his hand, but you stand up in this place. Well, well, thank you very much, and I thank the Honourable Member for giving me. We'll use our currency, the Scottish currency, the Scottish pound. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> pound. Um, there you go. That, that's answered all the problems. No concerns about what the Scottish pound would be, when it would be introduced. Yet again, I... I, I, I... So which one over there of the full SNP benches can tell me what currency an independent Scotland will have? Scottish pound, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
referendum in Scotland. So if we could get back to the subject matter, please. Oh, the, the, they're cheating, Mr Deputy Speaker, because they're, they're hoping I move on from this very quickly. And uh, as any good official, I will follow uh, the rule from the referee uh, and agree to that. But not a single SNP member was able to answer such a crucial question. Scottish Pound, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I also welcome the opportunity to discuss this important issue today. Because households are struggling with the rise in global energy prices, with inflation as a result of spending decisions taken by governments across the world, including this government who have invested £315 billion to get us through this global pandemic. And of course, with rising prices of essential items like food because of continued supply chain issues, again as a result of the pandemic. I, I have given way quite a few times so far. 